presentation will be about modern and simulation of a photovoltaic plant uh, with a storage system connected to the grid, which is basically like a microgrid, right? And well, the context that we have right now in the energy system is just that uh, we are kind of in a transition from a centralized way of uh, generation of energy to a more decentralized way. And we are increasing our re renewable sources and also this distributed energy, right? And <coughs> to understand these models, we need to better prepare our models, right? To, to actually to better understand this system, this new system, we uh, need to kind of better uh, improve our models. So my objective here is to create a, a library that you can simulate uh, microgrids. So you can simulate the connection from a power system to a microgrid and also the PV system and also the storage system. And all these, there are controllers and sensors. So this is actually the library that I'm, that I'm building. And it is available in uh, GitHub. If you go to this link, uh, you can download it. And right now it, it has already like something around 45 models and it's uh, still unfinished because I need to finish like this, the final examples and stuff. But it's really easy, like right now, it's simple. Uh, for example, uh, I have the converters here, which is an essential part for the microgrid. So we have, for example, the boost converter, the plug boost converter, and a VSC, which is a voltage source converter that can be used as an inverter and a rectifier. And for those who are not involved in the electrical, you guys have, an, have any clue of what is it? Like, just a conversion of energy from a DC to AC. So these converters are used to interface, for example, a PV panel or a battery system to another electrical system. So they're controllable and they control the power flow, for example. Okay. Uh, so this is a test that I made with the boost converter to check if my boost modeling was correct. So I built the same thing that was we built in our power electronics course. And I checked the results that I got and they, they were basically like, they match really close with the known with the non idealities, for example. I added, for example, the voltage drop in diode exactly as it was uh, written in the, in the data sheet of the diode and I could get like almost the same results. Uh, for the converter, for the VSC, I added, for example, the, the already, the modulation is inside the AC to DC converter here. This is an example that you can assess in your, in the library for the PLL. So this is the output from the converter as we were talking before. Here is the DC side, and here is the AC side, and you can see that the AC side is correctly working because it's alternating. And this is a kind of modulation. This is a sinusoidal uh, based PWM, which is a pulse width modulation. So you regulate the switching in these models here, in the, inside this model that I already showed before, with the comparison with a tri triangular wave, with a much more higher frequency. And I also had to implement a lot of controllers, for example, the PLL, which is a phase lock loop. Uh, the phase lock loop is actually really essential to everything that is connected to the power system, okay? To the AC power system, to the grid. Because in that way, we can synchronize our, for example, our PV, the energy that is coming from our PV, to the grid. So we need something to synchronize, right? And to synchronize, I implemented the PLL, and this PLL is based on something called uh, SOG, SOGI, which is a second order generalized integrator. This is used to filter the voltage. Okay, So after filtering the voltage, I know what I need to synthesize and what angle and what amplitude I need to synthesize from my inverter to connect the microgrid to the actual grid. Okay? Uh, this is the filter. And this is the PLL. And here, I was, uh, no, it's not here. Actually, it's here. No, I didn't, 
Yeah, it's in the PLL example in the library if you download it. Uh, <coughs> I was trying to synchronize to make this circuit to synchronize with uh, 180 volts amplitude. And here you can see that it synchronizes to the 180 volts. So it's working properly. And this is essential for connecting something to the grid. I also had added some PV models and I implemented with records so you can easily change all the parameters for your PV. So this was based on a photovoltaics library that they use the same idea where you can use all the records for the PV so you can change like really easily from uh, commercial PV uh, panels. So we can like do this kind of test here. And I'm adding two real inputs in the PV which are basically the temperature, the room temperature and the irradiance, so we can actually actually use real data to use it as an input here, and actually check if our controller will kind of handle that. Uh, for the battery, I used, uh, I used a reference uh, from a paper to model the battery. It has the, for example, the, the stage of uh, charging for example so it is really useful for uh, for this kind of uh, compen like compensating the intermittency of renewable energy and this uh, library here only has the battery as a star system but it can further be improved to have for example the full cell hydrogen tank electrolyzer station and you can use it as a storage system too uh, I also <coughs> added implemented nothing in the battery uh, dealing with records, but it can also be implemented so you can change from commercial batteries to commercial batteries, which will be like really useful uh, when simulating the whole system. And the like the whole system right now is this one, but I really need to implement only the console controllers to the ACPC and to these converters here. So I can check like everything working. But right now, what I, oh, and sorry, the current source here is actually uh, working as the load of this microgrid. So I have in this microgrid here, the power grid, right? Uh, some branch connected. All the sensors here and here, which are used to synchronize my converter to the grid. This is my converter of interface, my interface converter. This is a converter that is a <coughs> battery with a DC microgrid. And this is a DC-DC converter that is interfacing the PV panel with a DC source. Not DC source, sorry, the DC bus. And this is the load from my microgrid. So I can actually simulate uh, basically uh, a microgrid with the storage system, the PV panel, and the load. But as a last step, I need to actually uh, implement the controllers. The blocks are already built, but I need to calibrate the, the controllers so they can actually work here. So I think this is basically it. So the load can become uh, a home. Yeah, exactly. You can, for example, take a cur curve from a, from a home as a load. Like you see the load from a home, mm -hmm. and a residential load, and you can put as, a, as an input there here, yep. as the current there is being uh, drained from this microgrid, and you can actually like uh, kind of simulate like an intelligent home or something like that, or intelligent building. The, yeah. the goal, if you get some data to do that, the goal would be that it has se uh, net zero exactly. uh, net consumption. Zero, yeah. Exactly, and actually you can uh, like think a lot of things like the strategy to put the energy into the battery, maybe comparing with prices and stuff. And um, yeah, basically, uh, that's 